So I'm reviewing this dynamite wine. I have a hard time coming up with an intro for this. Yeah, I'll do. Hey everybody, I hope that explosive intro caught your attention. <laughs> Yeah. Today I'm going to be reviewing the 2015 Dynamite Vineyards Cabernet Sauvignon. It's 13.5% alcohol by volume and I paid $11 for it at my local grocery store. And it's from Sonoma, California, if I didn't already say that. Let's take a look at it. Alright, so from a color standpoint, I'm going to say you're ruby. You're not too purple, you're not too red, middle of the road, ruby. Uh, and no artifacts, no cloudiness. So that's good. All right, so from a nose standpoint, I'm definitely getting blackberries. Uh, there's something else there. It's an, it's a, it's an oak element. I'm gonna say it's a little bit of sweet spice, like a little bit of pepper and vanilla. From a taste standpoint, mm. all right, so, the tannins aren't too rough on it, so let's say the probably medium tannins, um, medium high acid. It is a little bit more acidic than I thought it was going to be. Definitely getting a whole lot of what tastes like baked plums, like almost like a plum dessert, like if you were to grill them. Like I'm getting a lot of that, which I didn't get any of in the nose. The blackberry plays second fiddle to everything, um, including the oak. And you do get the vanilla, but it doesn't show up until the finish. All right, so from a rating standpoint, 2015 Dynamite Vineyards Cabernet Sauvignon from Sonoma, California, 13.5% alcohol by volume, $11 on my local HEB. Oh, single take, yes. All right, so what am I gonna rate you? I'm gonna rate you an okay. You're not bad. I feel like those that baked plum is just really heavy. It makes the wine feel a lot heavier than I feel like it should be. This is kind of hard to explain because from my standpoint, I kind of think that this wine should be a lot lighter than it is. So it's very heavy on the palate. It's a very full body wine. It's, a, it's very heavy on the palate. Everything about this wine is heavy, except for that blackberry note. <laughs> and seeing as that was the dominant thing I got in the nose, I kind of expected more of that to be there. And I feel like if that blackberry element had been the predominant flavor instead of that hard, grilled pear type thing I'm getting. Um, I feel like this wine would have been good, but I just feel like there's a big imbalance in those cooked elements versus the sort of fresh element. Like, maybe if they melted together a little bit better, that wouldn't be as bad, but this feels just a little heavy-handed, and I got a lot of alcohol. I forgot to mention this in the taste. I got a lot of alcohol through the entire taste, so it's definitely a hot drinking wine. Um, like I said, it's, it's not bad. I'm not gonna throw it out, but I mean, it's, it's, it's not amazing either. Anyway, this is Stuart with Wine on the Dime. If you liked today's video, please like, subscribe, and comment. Have you had the Dynamite Vineyards Cabernet Sauvignon? Be interested to know if you have. Leave a comment below, and I'll see you guys again soon with another episode from Wine on the Dime. In the meantime, I'm actually going to be doing a product review in a second. So I'm going to be, you're going to see the same wine, but a lot more glasses, because I got a new aerator. So you might want to, like, come back in a couple of days for that video. I'll see you guys again soon. Hey, thanks for coming to the end of the video. I really appreciate it. I'm setting up for the next video right now, so I'm not in front of my camera. Uh, however, if you want to subscribe to the channel to see that next video, go ahead and hit this button right here. And if you really are awesome and you want to watch another one of my videos, YouTube says you'll like this one.